on a mock in a total cluster situation. <laughs> More than a thousand migrants, mostly Venezuelans, late for spring training, stormed a bridge linking Mexico to the United States in El Paso, Texas on Sunday. They were so desperate to enter Texas, you'd think they were Californians. <laughs> Videos detailing the chaos that unfolded, migrants of all ages charging forward, pouring in from all sides, trying to get into the land of freedom, opportunity, and pancakes. And not because they heard Greg was washing his car in jean shorts again. <laughs> I haven't seen such commotion since I tried to withdraw my savings from Silicon Valley Bank. The situation got so chaotic, Customs and Border Protection had to beef up manpower on the U.S. side of the bridge while the Mexican military tried to contain things on their side. It looked like the New York City Marathon, minus all the paperwork beforehand. <laughs> Meanwhile, White House Press Secretary Karine Jean-Pierre, recognizing the nation's obesity problem, so she served up another word salad. Hit it, girl. We're going to move forward with a with a uh, with this kind of system, this immigration system that has been gutted, really, truly gutted by the last administration. We're going to move forward and do it in a humane way. We're going to do it in a safe way, uh, and we're going to do it in the way that moves us forward. And so, what we have been seeing, what we've been dealing with, again, is trying to fix the damage that the last administration do did. Here's an actual video of the brain cells leaving her head during that statement. <laughs> Folks, Karine Jean-Pierre is so dumb, she almost froze to death at a drive-in movie. She had gone to see Closed for the Winter. <laughs> You're sitting next to somebody slow, help them out with that one. <laughs> like, what do you mean? I've never heard of that. <laughs> uh, Ali, I will start with you. Uh, we're all worked up about this, but as someone who has slept with a lot of illegals, are we missing the point? <laughs> Yeah, bring them over. Get them over here for us. No, we have to stop this. I mean, they're basically being told that our policy is Red Rover, Red Rover. Mm -hmm. And if you get over here, you can stay. You get given. I mean, I want to be an illegal immigrant. They're getting hotel rooms, debit cards. Sometimes you get a free trip to Martha's Vineyard, you know? <laughs> it's a crazy situation. I, I think everybody agrees. Kat, let me ask you this, though, because you told a famous story once about having a boyfriend who you couldn't get out of your apartment. Yeah, he wasn't my boyfriend. Well, whoever, he had stopped being your boyfriend. I would think he was. <laughs> but he had stayed. Yeah. Is deportation the problem in this era because it doesn't look compassionate, so you've just got to let them stay? Shocking what people will do for access to in-unit laundry. <laughs> <laughs> I tried so hard. I was like, you have to go. All of a sudden, his foot's injured. It was bad. Um, onwards and upwards. Thank Molly, you. I will ask you. <laughs> if you had to go away for the weekend and leave your kids with one person, Corrine Jean-Pierre or Kamala Harris... What do you do? It is, I was just thinking, listening uh -huh. to her, she sounds just like Kamala Harris. Uh -huh. And you remember, like, during the Trump era, you had all of these, like, highly competent press secretaries. Uh -huh. And the media would be losing their minds. You know, they'd shout a question that was angry. They'd get a good response, and they would just scream in response. Mm -hmm. We've been dealing with this for years now. Yeah. It's embarrassing. Like, it's embarrassing as an American. Mm -hmm. I'm embarrassed for her. She's a lovely lady, but she should not be in this job. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's just... What, what's going on? Like, I feel like I'm taking crazy pills that we keep letting this happen. <laughs> but it's it's this every day. Well, she, she didn't say nothing. Mm -hmm. She said, we're working on it, and it's so hard because Trump messed it up. Yes. That's, I mean... Trump the, the, of is course, the elixir. Right. That's, that's not what happened. You know, there's the very a... many issues that are involved with this. But she took 40 seconds to say it because the longer you talk, you think maybe just based on how long she was talking that she said more than that. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's what's going on in her head. But, you know, because this is all about empowerment, maybe she's good at her job because she's making the rest of the country feel like they're empowered and they could be press secretary, too. Yeah. <laughs> I hadn't thought about that. Yeah. I mean, don't you watch her and walk away being like, I could have did that. Yeah, you know? yeah, like, but eat, but eat, but eat a path to a path. That's what we're working <laughs> on. That sounds great to me. Yeah, just keep talking, Kareem Jean Pierre. Ah, oh, Kareem. She dresses nice. That's a nice thing. I, I've got uh -huh. two nice things to say about this administration. She does dress nice, and Joe Biden dresses nice. He does. He does. That's good. it. That's the only nice thing I've ever. No, seen. No, I like the way he does the Versace diaper. Uh -huh. I think yeah, it's a good Versace look. Versace diaper is good. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> Jimmy, Jimmy, uh, Molly, you're an editor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Can you edit that statement? <laughs> I don't even know. I just want to say, too, like, this idea of blaming Donald Trump. Uh-huh. 
the Trump administration was not perfect and it wasn't perfect on the border, mm -hmm. but they actually did get to the point where the border was somewhat under control. Yeah. And President Biden, like on day one, uh -huh. moved to tear down every protection. And now when things like this happen, they're like, why is this happening? We have no idea what's going on. Uh -huh. That's all them. No, that's the scam. You see, remember the old Chris Rock bit where he talks about Robitussin? Okay. He's like, you know, you got a bullet wound, pull a little tussin on it. You know what yep. I mean? That whole thing. <laughs> I think Trump is Democrat Robitussin in this day and age. Like, got a border problem? Get a little tussin. You yeah. know what I mean? Inflation? Get a little tussin. It's not cultural appropriation. Relax, everybody. It's fine. Um, <laughs> stick with me. Do you think what happened is they got used to playing a card that just doesn't work anymore? I don't know if it doesn't work. I think it still works for their base. I think if you blame Trump for everything, people, you know, they go with it. And I think publications love it. They love mentioning Trump. He gets ratings. Uh -huh. So whenever they can, they invoke Trump for sure. And she just does this version of Abbott and Costello where you don't, you're like, who, what is going on? You can't follow it. And then she brings up Trump. Oh, yeah, he's to blame. Oh, there you go. There it is. That's but it's the scary because it's like we're bumper bowling for these people. You know when you have a slow kid, so you block the gutters? <laughs> Just to make sure they don't throw it in the gutter. Yeah. But they're just throwing it over into the next lane now instead. Yeah. It's embarrassing. Anyway, up next, the Pope is weary.